How's it going everyone? Rob some knowledge here. I've got another video for you guys. Today we're going to be doing an updated tutorial of our speeding up U-Torrent. So we're going to be showing you how to speed up your U-Torrent if you're having slow download speeds or if you just have a slow internet overall. So first what we got to do obviously is open up U-Torrent up here. And if you don't have U-Torrent yet, you can download it below. I have a link in the description. But let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we're going to go up to Options and Preferences. From there you're going to go to the Connection. And then you're going to start up here, the port used for incoming connections. You're going to want to put this to 45682. And then you want to have this box checked, Enable UPnP Port Mapping. You want to check Enable NATPnP Port Mapping. You want to have this one unchecked because you don't want this port to keep changing. So uncheck Randomize Port Each Start. And you want to check add firewalls window exception or windows firewall exception sorry a little dyslexic today and then after that we're going to go down to bandwidth okay and the maximum upload rate you're going to want to leave that at zero um, if you have a super 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 slow connection you can limit this and it you know it may help out a little bit so sometimes if it's a super slow connection i'll put it to like an uh, upload rate of 10 but i normally leave that at zero and then for the download rate, obviously you want to leave that at zero. You don't want to limit your download, as that's the reason why you're watching this video in the first place. You want to have this box unchecked, apply rate limit to transport overhead. You want to check this box, apply rate limit to UTP connections. And you want to uncheck stop transfers on user interaction. Now for the global maximum number of connections, you're going to want to set this to 2329. For the maximum number of connected peers per torrent, you're going to want to put that to 1890. And for the maximum number of slots per torrent, you're going to want to put that to 14. And you also want to have this box checked, use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90%. Now you're going to go to the BitTorrent section. And all these boxes in here, you want to have checked except for this one. Okay, so you want to check enable DHT network, you want to check enable DHT for new torrents, you want to check enable local peer discovery, you want to check enable bandwidth management, and you want to check enable UDP tracker support, you want to check ask scraper for tra in scrape information, and you want to check enable peer exchange, but you want to uncheck limit local peer bandwidth. Then for the protocol encryption, you want to set the outgoing to enabled and you want to check allow incoming legacy connections. Now we're going to go down to queuing section. For the maximum number of torrents, active torrents, you want to put that to a number around 60. 60 to 65 is good. And same with the downloads. I normally put this around 63 or 65. Okay, we're going to go with 63. For and then for the seeding, this is really up to you. Um, as a minimum, you should do at least 100%. You should do at least 100% of what you do. But I normally seed 200% just to give back a little bit more than I take. That's just a personal moral. And then the minimum seeding time, I just leave that to zero. Minimum number of available seeds, leave that at zero. Leave these two boxes unchecked. After that, you're going to go down to advanced. And this is the last few steps. We're going to go to BT allow same IP. You want to set that to true. Then you're going to go down to find the DHT rate, or you can always just type it in this little box right here, DHT rate. It's set to a value of negative 1. You want to set that to 2. Click set. And then you want to find RSS update interval. Here we go. And I normally set this to 20. Go ahead and click set. Click apply. OK. And there we are. Now with these settings, I have seen a speed increase from anywhere to 400 to 600% of my original speed. So say you started at 1 megabit per second. With this tutorial, my typical increases, I have seen 4 to 6 times that. So it would bring you from 1 megabit to around 4 to 6 megabits per second. And that's all proportional to your original speed, but some people may see different results. Anyways guys, that's about the end of this tutorial. If this helps you out, please like and subscribe. I will constantly update this as uTorrent pushes out new versions. As you can see here, we're on uTorrent 3.4.7. That's all I've got for you today, guys. I will talk to you in the next video.